Hello and welcome back to An Old Man Watches. And today I'm going to be talking about Uwe Boll's 2005 video game adaptation, Blood Rain. Uh, and in this movie, the title character Rain is a half human, half vampire crossbreed known as a Dampier. Uh, she was conceived when the vampire king Kagan raped her human mother and subsequently murdered her. Um, as a Dampier, Rain shares the superhuman strength and speed of her father, but she lacks many of a vampire's weaknesses. She's not harmed by crucifixes or by sunlight, and she does not thirst for human blood. The only thing that does affect her is holy water. Uh, these characteristics make her a potentially valuable weapon in the fight against the vampire menace and bring her to the attention of the Brimstone Society, an order of warriors who are dedicated to just that cause. Now, Rain hates her father, so he did, you know, rape and murder her mother, so she's on board with the vampire slaying plan. But it's not going to be easy. Not only does some among the Brimstone Society distrust her for her part vampiric heritage, but Cargan has been seeking three artifacts of Belial, with which he'll be safe to walk in sunlight and immune to the power of crucifixes and holy water, making him nigh on unstoppable. So, Yui Bol rose to some notoriety in the early 2000s for churning out a series of poorly received video game ad adaptations, starting with 2003's House of the Dead, a movie that is spectacularly, transcendentally awful, and which I deeply, deeply love for its utter lack of self-awareness. Uh, Blood Rain enjoyed a significantly larger bu budget than Bowles' earlier films, resulting in a much more recognisable headline cast, uh, but its critical reception was no better. Uh, it was nominated for no less than six Golden Raspberries, uh, and its commercial performance was actually far worse. And let's be honest, this is a bad film. Not House of the Dead levels of catastrophe, perhaps, but still very, very far from good. And yet, I've watched and enjoyed it on multiple occasions. Again... Not as many as I have House of the Dead, but, you know, precious few things can be as fascinatingly awful as that movie. So, why is Blood Rain bad, and why do I like it nonetheless? Well, I mean, the first of those questions is going to be a lot easier to answer than the second, so let's start with it. So, as already mentioned, this film had a bigger budget than Bowles' previous movies, which meant he could hire a much more recognisable cast. But that does not mean that the money was spent wisely. You see, Yui Boll is the kind of filmmaker who says, actresses want too much money to do nudity. Just hire some prostitutes for the scene instead. And this is, in fact, the movie where he said that for a scene which also features meatloaf. You know, because a middle-aged rocker who hadn't had a hit in over a decade was apparently something that Boll would pay for. But that's only one minor scene, though, and the film's casting issues run a lot deeper than that. Boll picked, picked uh, Christana Loken to play Rain, uh, and I suspect he cast her simply because she's tall and beautiful. Now, Logan's actually got her merits as an actor. I've seen her in other things and th thought her work was good. But none of those merits, unless you count the fact that she's a very good-looking woman, are showcased in this movie. I don't think she's simply at all well-suited to playing the fierce and brooding character depicted here. Uh, then we have Michael Madsen uh, as the leader of the Brimstone Society, who appears to have been off his tree during filming. Uh, there's one scene where I'm pretty sure he literally falls over the second after the, the, after the cameras stop rolling. And then we have Michelle Rodriguez, meanwhile, who seems to be trying to put on some kind of accent, or possibly just disguise her normal accent, with highly uneven results. And we haven't even talked about Ben Kingsley yet playing the vampire King Cargan. Kingsley apparently took the job because he'd always wanted to play a vampire, but you'd be hard-pressed to see any of that apparent enthusiasm in his monotone, nigh-expressionless performance. And then there's the script. Oh my, the script. I mean, I'll give the writing in Blood Rain this much. It genuinely feels like something out of a computer game. We have the characters receiving their quest in a tavern. Not one, but two expository conversations that don't even try to disguise the fact that they're nothing but info dump cutscenes, and a blatant mini boss fight about halfway through, where you can almost literally see Kristana Loken like pressing the B button to activate the quick time event. The script is also deeply stupid. For starters, while the forces of evil have incompetent minions in most forms of media, the evil minions in Blood Rain take it to a new level. Like, how do they even dress themselves in the morning levels of stupid? Then there are the character motivations, which are announced whole cloth out of nothing and disappear just as fast. I desire to kill only vampires, says Rain, 
two minutes after we saw her kill half a dozen humans, and ten minutes before she'll kill a whole bunch more. Now, it's true that the humans she kills are all bad people, but maybe don't have your character make statements of intent that you don't actually intend for her to follow. Uh, in interviews, the credited screenwriter, uh, Godavir Turner, has stated that Yui Boll shot the film using her rough first draft uh, while making his own changes on the fly during production, rather than working with her to refine the initial script into a you know, shooting-ready format. And it's estimated that only about a quarter of her script was actually used, which probably goes some way to explaining the film's storytelling problems. So Blood Rain is badly cast, sometimes outright badly acted, and the script is an on-the-fly hack job of a rough first draft and makes very little sense. So why do I still enjoy the film? Well, I think part of it comes down to the unabashed bombast and over-the-top melodrama of the film's storytelling. Much like House of the Dead, where Boll literally spiced footage of the computer game into the movie, Yui Boll has made Blood Rain with the enthusiasm and the restraint of an overly caffeinated 12-year-old boy. The result is bad, but I feel like it's bad in the same way that a puppy that's so excited to see you it accidentally pees itself is bad. The result's not what you were hoping for by any means, but you can't help but kind of feel a begrudging affection for the artless, utterly unselfconscious abandonment of self-control and self-restraint that is involved. And this sense of authentic, if not particularly competent enthusiasm, is something that definitely goes missing in later Bowl projects, including the two drab, tedious sequels to this film. Um... You can make an argument that his next movie, In the Name of the King, still has some of that bombast and enthusiasm, but thereafter, he hasn't made a movie that's worth sitting down to watch, even as a so-bad-it's-good experience. So that's Blood Rain. Don't watch it unless you like So Bad It's Good. If you do like So Bad It's Good, check it out. It's great fun, in my opinion. Next time... A big change of pace with the 1955 musical Guys and Dolls, starring some pretty big names. But that's next time. Until then, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it.